Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So I want to come on here and talk about this really sad case from Baltimore, Maryland. So what's going on is that we have a 21-year-old woman. Her name is Destiny Harrison. So what's going on with Destiny is that she's a salon owner. And her story's going viral all over social media. She was recently gunned down in her own shop in front of her daughter. So this entire situation is really heart-wrenching. But what's even crazier is that back on December 10th, when she was working at her shop, basically she witnessed two people behind her shop. They were stealing merchandise from her store. They were stealing bundles of hair and everything else. So she went out there to confront them and one of the people pinned her down while the other person started just stomping and beating on her and everything else and they ended up stealing over $3,000 worth of bundles. She caught the police, she filed a police report and in that police report she was even stating that she was scared for her life, she was scared that they might come back and then what happened is that basically a few days before Christmas somebody, I don't know if it was these same people but I'm suspecting that it was, somebody came back and they basically finished the job. And from what I'm hearing, they shot her to silence her from further talking to the police or testifying against those people. So this entire situation is just really heartbreaking. I want you guys to go ahead and check this new story. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. 21-year-old salon owner murdered in her own shop over the weekend. Tonight, we learned that she was afraid for her life. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs explains what court documents show. Abby. Megan, 12 days before she was shot in the head at her beauty shop, Destiny Harrison filed charges against a couple who she said beat her and stole from her. Tonight, her grieving family is calling for justice. She was my heart. All of us love her greatly. Uh, just can't believe it. A new mother, a loving daughter and niece, a beloved business owner. Wonderful girl, entrepreneur, uh, uh, a go-getter. As you can see, she built this from the ground up. Shot and killed in her Southeast Baltimore beauty salon Saturday evening. Unbelievable. Some evil soul would do something like this. Police say someone walked into Madame D Beauty Bar and shot 21-year-old Destiny Harrison in the head. No respect for women. Uh, and whatsoever uh, to do this to a defenseless young lady who doesn't harm anyone, love everyone, it just, it's senseless. Just 12 days before her murder, Harrison said she was attacked in her salon when she confronted burglars. She wrote in a complaint that she found her neighbors inside stealing hair bundles that she sells. When she tried to stop them, the couple beat her and took off with $3,000 worth of merchandise. She wrote, quote, I'm scared for my life and business, end quote. They're now charged with assault, theft, and burglary. Police have not arrested anyone for her murder. They say there were other people inside at the time of the shooting and hope someone comes forward with information. Her family echoes that plea. Somebody got to know something. Please come forward. You need to get these demonic souls here. They need to pay for their crime. There's no doubt about that. In the name of Jesus, there's no doubt. Destiny's mother has set up a GoFundMe page to help with funeral expenses. We have that link on our website, WMAR2news.com. All right, so you guys just heard what her uncle had to say, and he used the perfect words in this situation. He said, you know, these people who did this were straight up demonic. And I know a lot of people feel like, oh, when you use words like that, that just makes you super religious. But at some point in time, we have to call evil people just what they are, evil. When you can go into a crowded salon, there were patrons there, people there getting their hair done. When you can go into a crowded salon and shoot the owner who's 21 years old at point blank range in the head, in front of her child, her daughter who just turned one years old was in the shop as well. You literally took this young woman's life in front of her child, in front of her customers, and for what? Behind some hair weave, behind some bundles. So this entire situation is just sad and sickening. Now one silver lining that's come out of this is that Gervonta Davis, and he was gearing up for a fight this weekend, and basically he heard on social media about Destiny's death, and he decided to cover all of the funeral expenses. Um, he asked the family to reach out to him, and they did. This is what Gervonta said. Go ahead and check this out. Sir Gervonta Davis says, Shake my head. I'm just hearing about this sadness. Prayers and love to her family. If I can do anything like pay for the funeral or anything like that, reach out. So that is what he said. And like I stated, the family ended up reaching out to him. 
and he did end up covering her entire funeral. So this situation is really sad. Um, I seen her post some pictures on Facebook. You know, you see her in front of her um, Mercedes with her daughter. I mean, what really caught me with this story that was just very, very heart-wrenching um, was her age. For her to be 21 years old and already have it in her mind that she wants to be a business owner lets me know how mature this young girl was. You know, being your own business person, being your own boss, it's not easy. So for her to say, you know what, I just don't want to do hair and work for somebody else. I want to open up my own salon. That takes a lot of goals, that takes a lot of gumption, that takes a lot of drive, and it's obvious that Destiny had that, and unfortunately, sometimes when you have those goals and you have that gumption, you have that drive, not everybody's going to be happy for you, okay? Some people are just so jealous when they see you coming up and doing your thing. You have this beautiful young girl, she's a successful business owner, she's riding around in a Mercedes, her daughter's taken care of, she's living her best life, yet somebody in the community felt the need to steal almost $3,000 worth of bundles from this girl as opposed to them doing something productive or starting their own business they wanted to steal from her and then when she did the right thing by going to the police instead of this whole you know stop snitching bullshit she went to the police she told them what was going on she pressed charges she did everything correct as a business owner only to be shot dead. This is just really sad that something like that could happen. You know, and it just seems like Baltimore has gotten really bad over the years, but this story going viral is definitely shedding more of a light on just the craziness that's been going on in Baltimore. You know, so I just feel really bad for the family. You know, the little girl is out here now without a mother. And what was so ironic while I was on her Facebook page, I found a video of her. There was a video that I saw of Destiny and it really kind of sent chills up my spine because because once again, you guys know how I feel about affirmations and speaking certain things and putting certain things out there. And sometimes, you know, the power of the tongue. We talk about that all the time on this channel. And she was talking about her death. This is a 21-year-old woman who had her whole life in front of her. And she says that when she dies, she wants to be seen as a legend. She wants her daughter to feel like, you know, my mama did the damn thing. And it's just ironic that she posted that, you know, not too long ago. I think she posted like a year ago. When I die, I want people to be like, she was a legend at that head shit. And I want my daughter to be like, my mother was that on the head tip, period. And then to see her, you know, create her business, have her salon, and then to see her killed and her daughter was there. It's just very eerie, you know, what happened. And this is something she was speaking a year ago. So it makes me feel like... Why at the age of 21 she thought that, you know, why was she even speaking on death or saying that, you know, she gets killed? So, I mean, it just shows like how hard that type of environment is where you feel like, you know, you're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to make it out. But death is always around the corner because not because of what you're involved in, but because of other people's jealousy, animosity and hate. So this is just a really sad situation all the way around. So rest in peace to Destiny Harrison and kudos to Javante Davis for doing the right thing and helping pay for the funeral cost. You know, so this entire situation is sad. You know, another young life, another bright star snuffed out and over what? over some hair bundles so i'm just i'm just disgusted by this story you know hopefully her parents and her family will step up and rally behind the daughter and and raise her and let her know you know how much of a hard worker and an entrepreneur her mother was and how her mother did this because of the daughter so i just find her story very inspiring but also sad as well so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning destiny harrison's death and javante Davis stepping up to pay for her funeral. So go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.